Welcome to another lesson. My name is Michael, reporting from Solex College. I'm here with another grammar lesson for you. And today we're going to talk about run-on sentences. Some of you might not know what these are. Uh, let's take a look at an example, shall we? So, here we have, I like pizza, John likes sushi. Is this a sentence? Some of you may think, yes, it is a sentence. Some of you may think, no, it is not. In fact, this is not a sentence. This is what we would call a run-on. Now, what is a run-on? A run-on means that we have uh, too much information and not enough punctuation. Let's uh, cover this point, guys. For us to have a sentence, we need something called an independent clause. Now, I know you guys might know some of these. An independent clause requires a subject, a verb, and a third thing. Now, what is that third thing? This is tricky. Let's go back to our example here. If we say, I like pizza, this is an independent clause because we have a subject, we have a verb, and what is that third thing that we have? This is the magical thing. We have a complete thought or a complete idea. Subject, verb, complete thought. When you have these three things, you have an independent clause and it can stand on its own. So, looking at the second part, again, John is the subject, likes is the verb, John likes sushi. Does this express a complete thought? It does. So what we have here are two complete thoughts. I like pizza. Everyone understands what I'm saying here. If I say John likes sushi, this is also an independent clause. Subject, verb, complete thought. People will understand you when you say this. In English, we cannot put these independent clauses together without some kind of punctuation or additional words, like a conjunction. So, if you're watching at home, how do you think we could fix this? We need something here. And I'll tell you, there are more than one ways to fix it. We could, oh, I hear you, somebody said put a period. You're right, we could put a period. Now we would have two separate sentences, and we would correct the run on. Wait, somebody else just said, try a semicolon. You're also right. A semicolon makes this two separate thoughts. This is enough punctuation to correct it. Hold on. Somebody else just had another suggestion, and they too are right. We can add a comma and a coordinating conjunction. You guys know your coordinating conjunctions? If we're talking about pizza, and sushi, these are very different things. So a good coordinating conjunction would be but. So you could say, I like pizza, comma, but John likes sushi. What we've done here is we have now corrected our run-on. So to review, if we have two independent clauses, we can correct it with a period, we can correct it with a semicolon, or as we did here, we can correct it with a comma and a coordinating conjunction. If you can master these types of corrections, the quality of your writing will improve dramatically, and your teachers and professors will give you excellent grades. Thanks for joining us today. We're glad that you could visit us. If you like our lesson, please give us a thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you again here at Solex.